Christopher Talisano, Best Day Fitness, coming at you live, Best Day Fitness headquarters in sunny St. Petersburg, Florida, home of the Tampa Bay Rays, the baseball team, the Sun Rays, <laughs> lots of sun, and also home to one of the largest number of coronavirus cases in America. So I wanted to talk a little bit about what the mainstream media may not be talking as much about. Uh, when it comes to coronavirus and things you can do to protect yourself from it, and that is how you can boost your immune system. Uh, you may have heard of people contracting coronavirus but not having symptoms um, or having minor symptoms, uh, and, or you've heard of people getting it and dying from it, unfortunately. Um, so what are, the, what are the variations that cause people that to potentially get it and, and die from it or get it and not have any symptoms? And I would venture to say that... Uh, each person's immune function has a big part of that, has to do with a big part of that. So your immune function is, uh, you know, the, p the part of your body or the, your body's uh, ability to fight foreign invaders. Um, whenever the flu virus comes into our body, does your immune system latch onto it and get rid of it? Or does it get overwhelmed and you get the flu? Um, so a strong immune function uh, definitely decreases your risk of of getting sick from viruses, especially coronavirus. Uh, one of the main components of your immune function, or excuse me, one of the building blocks of a healthy immune function is vitamin D. And vitamin D is deficient in most Americans, um, so much uh, so that um, they're finding that a lot of people that are dying from coronavirus had a super low, low um, percentage of uh, vitamin D in their blood. Um, when they did the autopsy, and it's a very uh, common vitamin to be lacking, uh, mostly because we don't get enough sunlight at, at, on average, and we don't get enough vitamin D in our diet. So if we do take vitamin D supplements, you need to take it with, a, with fat. Um, so a lot of times if you are taking a supplement, you may not utilize enough of it because you're not uh, consuming um, a, a meal rich in fat uh, with, the, with the vitamin. Um, because again, fat is not something that is looked to, is, is not, uh, it's kind of demonized in our society. So we avoid fat, um, but we may take a vitamin and it might not be getting, uh, getting into our system. Vitamin D is a fat soluble vitamin, so it needs fat to be absorbed in your body. So A, you can take a supplement, a vitamin D supplement, 5,000 uh, IUs. If you read the back of the label, it's measured in uh, IUs. Um, get a sup uh, get a vitamin that has 5,000 at least. Uh, take it with a with a meal that has fat in it. Um, that's one way to take it. Um, another way is uh, get some sun. Get go outside and get some sun some sunshine in your life. Maybe eat your lunch out on uh, out in the sun. Get some vitamin. You know, get your your skin absorbing some of the uh, sun's UV rays, and that's what stimulates your body to produce its own vitamin D. Um, without the sunlight, your body's not producing it. So take 10 15 minutes a day. Go get some sun on your face. It's not going to give you skin cancer. Um, it's it's very healthy for us. Uh, the reason people are, have kind of fear the sun and skin cancer is we just get too much of it in, sh in short dosage, uh, or excuse me, too much dosage in a long period of time. So let's say you're working in an office all day, uh, every day of the week, and then on Saturday you get out to the lake, go out to the beach, all of a sudden you got four or five hours of sun, boom. That's where the damage is coming from. It's too much in a small amount, a small window. So space that out in small increments, and that's that's going to be great for your skin uh, to help produce vitamin D, which is going to improve your immune function. It's one of the reasons that flu rates go down in the summertime and they're up higher in the wintertime, because people uh, are stuck inside in the wintertime. They can't get enough sun, and their vitamin D levels tend to go down, which help you know, which decreases the efficacy of your immune system. So. Vitamin D, supplement it, go get some sun. Uh, it's gonna be uh, a great way to decrease your risk of uh, getting any kind of virus or flu or coronavirus. Uh, and it's something simple that you can do. It's, uh, vitamin D supplements are not that expensive. They're one of the cheaper ones you can purchase. And sunlight is absolutely free. I, I hear they're actually making solar panels now that turn it into energy and electricity. So it's free, it's awesome, it's always there. This morning I woke up, the sun was there. I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's gonna come up tomorrow. I don't know, it's crazy times, who knows? May not, <laughs> but I'm pretty optimistic it's gonna be there tomorrow. So take advantage of uh, sunlight, vitamin D, boost your immune system, 
continue exercise, get good night's sleep, drink lots of water. Just these little things we can do on a daily basis is going to improve immune function, decrease your potential risk for uh, getting sick, and then we can uh, we can get done with this coronavirus thing and get back on with life. So just my little one and a half cents for the day on immune function, vitamin D. Christopher Talisano, Best Day Fitness. I'm out. Peace. Have your best day ever.